Welcome to the UHF Horizon Car Show. This is a preview of some of the vehicles used in past and future projects. We'll start with the big horn truck. Modeled after the Dodge Ram, this off-roading beast can be seen in the Fortune Island mountain climb. This was a straight OBJ export and textures were applied in a clone. Next up is the F612. Featured in Driving to the Moors and UHF Horizon After Dark. The model has limitations due to the hierarchy and DES, but it is functional enough for in-car scene. Here is the first converted car, the infamous, no copyright infringement whatsoever, Lamborghini. This model closely resembles an Aventador and is a straight OBJ export with custom textures. You can check this car out in the Ravina and the Lambo video up top. The Bugatti Baron. This land speed record holder is featured in UHF Horizon after Dark Episode 1. Joanna puts the pedal to the metal on the 0 to 60 to 0 track, then onto the motorway to max out the speedo. Coming up are a Porsche 918 ish supercar, 71 Cuda, and 68 Nova. The Porsche has yet to be featured, but the Nova and Cuda have appeared in the Nova race and test track preview. The oldest car here today is the 1936 AM sedan. This car was featured in the most recent video where Marcy drives around Scotland. The pedals are custom as is the texturing. The 67 Shelby Mustang has appeared in a few videos. This model kept its textures through the export but lacked a fully customizable base. The upper class car has basic functionality with working doors, pedals, and steering wheel. Make sure to check out Sandra driving in a previous video. The V-Dub has yet to premiere on this channel, but fans of Frankie will recognize it elsewhere. This model required a full interior redesign. Masking the pedals resulted in the interior mostly vanishing. This model is quite interactive now. The Chevy Bel Air is a fan favorite. This interactive model features working speedo, pedals, steering wheel, and hood. The Vodacorn Drifting Bliss. Enough said. This last model is a new build. Modeled after a classic land cruiser, this SUV features functioning pedals and steering wheel. Stay tuned for videos using it. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. A lot of work has been going on behind the scenes, and I can't wait for you to see it. Good night from UHF Horizon.